Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a look at the Wii game, Super Mario Galaxy 2. This game is a 3D platformer released by Nintendo 2010. It's a sequel to 2007's fantastic Super Mario Galaxy. This game certainly has a lot to live up to. At first, Super Mario Galaxy 2 was simply intended to be a modification of the original, but during development, the staff kept coming up with new ideas, so Nintendo decided to make it an entirely new game. I'm sure you'll agree after watching this review that this gamble has been justified. The plot of Super Mario Galaxy should be familiar to any of you who've played a Mario game in the past. Princess Peach has been captured by the evil Bowser and playing as Mario and later Luigi have got a rescue her. Thankfully, the plot is pretty much the only area that could have done with a little more creativity. The premise of this game is similar to the original. You explore dozens of galaxies, crushing enemies and negotiating tricky platforming sections. Present are the same familiar faces we all know and love, as well as some who didn't feature in the predecessor to Galaxy 2. Most notably, Yoshi makes a more than welcome return, and you'll be hopping on his back and using his tongue to help complete many stages. Another notable change is the simplified level select system, which eliminates the boring and rather pointless hub world navigation of the original. It's clear from the outset that the developers have not rested on their laurels, with pretty much every level in introducing a new concept. That's not to say the additions feel unnatural as though they've been tacked on, they fit seamlessly into the gameplay. There are far too many gameplay mechanics for me to mention in this short review, so I won't try and cover it all here, but if you're playing this game, expect to make use of some awesome power-ups and abilities. You never feel that you're simply going through the motions, repeating something you've done many times before, because each level feels fresh and inspired. I should point out that this game isn't purely a 3D platformer. Mixing things up are some 2D segments, which fit perfectly into the worlds and are an excellent nod to the Super Mario Bros. series. The co-op mode has been refined, with your companion able to play a more active role in the game. This worked particularly well for me and my brother, as he didn't want to actually play the game himself, but had a lot of fun um, freezing enemies and retrieving hard to reach items. Definitely found it a lot easier when playing co-op. In total, there are 242 stars for you to collect in Galaxy 2, 122 of them being power stars, and 120 of them being green stars, but you can beat the game with just over half the power stars. As you'd expect, the levels tend to get progressively harder as you play through the game, with boss levels at the end of each world. If you're finding things too hard, you can call on the Cosmic Guide, similar to the one in New Super Mario Bros. Wii, who will show you how to play through stages, but I didn't really have course to use this feature. By collecting Comet Medals, which are scattered across levels, you can unlock Prankster Comets, which offer a variety of challenges for your ability under pressure, such as completing levels in a set time and killing a set number of enemies. I probably sound like some Mario-obsessed fanboy giving this game all the praise, but I honestly can't think of any way they could have improved the gameplay, save for making the new power that gives Mario a flamethrower. Each level I've played was a lot of fun, with the difficulty level being challenging enough to keep the game interesting, but not too hard to get you smashing your Wii remote. Whether you're the kind of guy who likes to speed run through stages as fast as possible, or whether you opt to explore each level and discover everything it has to offer, I'm sure you'll have a blast playing through them. The gameplay gets a perfect 10 from me. If for some reason you've been watching this video with your eyes closed and haven't noticed, I'd like to emphasize that Super Mario Galaxy 2's graphics are breathtaking, particularly seen as it's on the Wii, which is meant to be the weakest current gen console in terms of visuals. Each level is packed with more colours than most games managing an entire playthrough, with each stage being lovingly designed. Nintendo could have just made a few tweaks to the levels in the original Galaxy and rearranged some of the enemies, and I'm sure it would still be well received, but they decided to go the extra mile and deliver some truly inspired environments. The cutscenes also look great, though unfortunately there's no dialogue. If I had to nitpick, I'd mention how the camera angle made the game a little difficult on a few very rare occasions, but I still can't give the graphics any less than 9 out of 10. Given that this is a Mario game, you probably assume that this game is an awesome soundtrack, and you'd be right to make that assumption, with a cracking score composed of arrangements of classic Mario tunes, as well as new compositions, 
backing music is a perfect accompaniment to what may well be a perfect game. The tracks really fit the action and the symphony orchestra did another great job of this game. If you're a Japanese club and Nintendo member, I would highly recommend you pick up the soundtrack. I believe it can be purchased for the bargain price of 300 points. I give Super Mario Galaxy 2's audio 10 out of 10. The controls for this game are both simple and precise, as you'd expect from a 3D platformer. The control scheme makes use of the nunchucks control stick. By pointing your Wiimote at the screen, you can collect star bits, which can then be fired using the B button. These can be used to stun enemies. Certain levels also require you to tilt the Wiimote to control your character's movement, and this control method is similarly responsive, though it took a little while to get used to this scheme. I hate to act like a stuck record, but I'd give the controls the full 10 points. Super Mario Galaxy 2 also does a great job of keeping you coming back for more. Like I said before, there are a total of 242 stars to locate, so if you're a completionist, there should be plenty to keep you occupied. Replaying levels can also be very rewarding, you can try and find every last coin or star bit to be found on each level. Search for secret locations or go for a new fastest completion time, the choice is yours. The ability to play as Luigi later in the game also adds some replay value and you definitely get your money's worth with this game. The last in appeal gets, yes you've guessed it, 10 out of 10. I know this review probably sounds more like an advertisement for the game than a critical assessment, but I honestly believe Super Mario Galaxy 2 is one of the greatest games of all time. The difficulty level falls into that middle ground of being not too hard but not too easy, so gamers young and old should have a lot of fun with this game. It was difficult to see how Nintendo could have improved on the Super, Super Mario Galaxy, but I'm pleased to say they managed it with flying colours. In my opinion, this game should serve as the benchmark for all new 3D platformers to be judged against. This game has the same polish and attention to detail I've come to expect from Nintendo's first party offerings, with stunning graphics, silky smooth controls and a stellar soundtrack. It's great to see that even after over a quarter of a century, the Mario series has gone from strength to strength, with ideas continuing to flow from the creative geniuses at Nintendo EAD. Sorry for being so predictable, but Super Mario Galaxy 2 gets 10 out of 10 from me. Ok guys, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll put another video soon. In the meantime, I'd urge you to go out and pick up a copy of this game if you haven't already got one, you won't be disappointed.